Hello there everyone, welcome to Baldur's Gate 3. So yeah, this is what I'm hoping to use as a Friday substitute for a while. So yeah, uh, I heard some good, good, yep, yeah, I've heard good things about it and it's just like, thing is, I've actually been sitting on Baldur's Gate 3 when it was in beta. So, that's how long I've... Uh, actually, no, it wasn't beta. Uh, Pre-purchase? Pre-purchase early access? Something around those lines? Yeah, it was like... It was still in early access, and... I've been sitting on this just simply for... A while now. And so... Here we are... About to... About to actually... Properly play the game, so... I'm going at this mostly without any intel, so... This will be an interesting adventure for all of us. So, let's see. Select difficulty. So, let's see. We have explorer, adaptive, experience, balanced, have tactician, and honor, which I'm assuming is. Alright. I think what we'll do is balance. So, that way it's just like. I I don't really think myself that I'm that good of a tactician, despite the fact that playing XCOM 2 Iron Man. But, uh, yeah, I think let's just go with balance, see how it goes from there. And if anything, we can just simply choose to uh, do something else. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, I remember this part. Funny how you guys have a floor, but just be like, yeah, I'm going to float instead. Actually, since this is a cutscene, I think it's probably best if I actually skip this because uh, of the fact that... Last time I, I did cutscenes was back in Persona 4, and I'm pretty sure I got a strike taken down from it. Or well, copyright claim, actually, so... Let's just go ahead and not. Uh, sure, keep the pop-ups on, so... Uh, right, I forgot that... We can be one of these people, but... Uh, I mean, I think I've, I'll do an origin character. If if this gets enough support, I'll probably consider doing an origin character for uh, like one of the, these origins and Slater. But I think for now, let's just go ahead and stick to doing something customizable. So let's just go with that for now. So let's see. So we have Elf, Tiefling, Drow. Oh, we actually get to play Drow. <laughs> Elf, Tiefling, Drow, Human, Githyanki, Dwarf, Half-Elf, Halfling, Gnome, Dragonborn, and a Half-Orc. So, let's see. Uh, so let's see. Move 9 meters, Elvish Weapon Training, Dark Vision, Fate, and Stress 3. Not too bad. Dark vision, have fire damage. Oh, and it looks like they actually have the self races for what kind of tiefling. That's actually pretty nice. I remember, I actually used to be a very big fan of D&D back, back a while ago. I still have like the books and stuff, so it's just like, wonder if I'll ever get the group to play D&D again. Have the drow. Uh, so that's in the light. Let's see, so drow weapon training is different. Have better dark vision too. Uh, got the good old-fashioned human, and also hold on. 
Let's just do something real fast to There we go. We are male. Where to next? Hmm. Let's hope the locals are friendly. Hells. Something just woke up down here. Looks like the even numbers are the female voices while it's the male whilst the odd numbers are the male Be wary. ones. This place is trapped. It's opened. More of those wretched things. Th Where to next? <laughs> Let's hope the locals are friendly. Be wary. This place is trapped. It's More of those wretched things. Where to next? <laughs> Let's hope the locals are friendly. Be wary. This place is trapped. More of those wretched things. Don't know which I want to go with. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. I can Where to next? I kind of like voice 7, Let's but... the locals are friendly. Actually, maybe voice 5 Hells. would be better. Something just woke up down here. Be wary. This place is trapped. Although, at the same time, I feel like I'm probably going to need to determine what we want to do once we get, uh... Once we actually get... You know, let's just go ahead and... Nope, nope. We're going to have to probably determine everything later. Actually... Could we... Oh, okay, that's better. So body type helps us out there. So it looks like 2 is a bit small, while 4 is big boy. Oh, I should probably check the... Yup, 4 is... 4 is big boy. <laughs> One. So we have the Githyanki. Hmm. Good old fashioned dwarf. <laughs> Let's see. Battle axe, hand axe, light hammer, and war hammer. Dark vision, dwarven reeds, lineage. Have good old half elf. Halfling. Yeah, I don't play short, sorry. Sorry, halfling and gnome. Dragonborn. And half. Let's go with... I kind of like the thought of going as a dwarf. Yeah, I kind of like the thought of a dwarf. Alright, nope, don't proceed with that. Got more stuff, so... We have the gold dwarf, the shield dwarf, and the drugger. So let's see... So let's see, we have dwarven toughness. Hit point maximum increases by one, increases by one again every time you gain a level. Interesting. The shield dwarf. Dwarven armor training. So we get a natural proficiency of light and medium armor, which, eh, I mean, okay, cool. And a Dwiga. Gets better dark vision and their resilience gets illusions and begins being charmed or paralyzed. So that's kind of like the Elvish's resistance, which is kind of interesting. I kind of like the thought of just kind of going in with like as a gold dwarf and just simply having a high ass health pool. <laughs> Yeah, that doesn't actually sound too bad to me. So let's see, we have the Barbarians. Whew. They really increased like all the classes that you could play. I remember when I think the there was like four classes to play. Now they like have now they basically tripled it. So it's it's nice to see all of all this and it's just like now I'm now I'm faced with like this choice paralysis to choose like what I want to be now. And even like even though I said I wanted to be a dwarf, now I'm just being like, yeah, but what about someone else? Now I have all these choices to make. Uh, okay, so that's how. That's how it's looking like, okay. 
need to understand this the layout, so. So let's see. Elf, tiefling, drow, human. I mean, obviously I could definitely choose like what kind of elf I could be. So let's see, wood elf, high elf, so. Oh. I guess high elves just simply get the natural ability to use a firebolt. Actually, no, they can. What I've got, they can choose like any kind of cantrips. Uses your intelligence as a modifier, so. So let's see, you have the tiefling who get different cantrips. We have Asmodeus, Mystit, Mephisto, and Zalia. The, the Drow. So we have the Lord Sworn Drow. And the Seldoin. Interesting. It looks like there might be like a bit of backstory if we go with a drow, but mm. obviously we have the humans. Simple militia. Wow, humans have then they have like a lot of proficiency and stuff. So and yep, the classic human versatility. The gear Yankee. I'm sure that they wouldn't put. I think when we were doing the cutscene, like the person that we were looking at was a Gith Yankee, so it could be interesting to go for that, but I mean, yeah, not really my thing. Half elf, half -ling. Might go Dragonborn, but nah. Half Orc could be fun. I remember, I think I remember back all the way when I first made my character, when I did like my first D&D &D session, I actually made a Half Orc, so. It's it's interesting to be looking at a Half Orc and just be like, hmm, I could do a Half Orc, but I think, I think I just go with the good old Lock and Stone. So, gold shield or clear. Kind of like, kind of going between either gold or shield, but. Hmm. I think let's go with a gold dwarf. Now, the most important question of all what class to take? I do wonder, like, what, uh, if they have, like, the paths, like, that they what kind of, like, because I know that for, uh, in D&D, &D, uh, depending on what path you, you can basically, like, specialize yourself in, like, a, a specific way, or, like, how you do things is kind of pronounced by, like, a certain lineage, so. Alright, so we go with, we go with Rage. Go as a bard. No. Could do a cleric, which eh, might be interesting, but druid. Oh, it's interesting that we're actually getting these animations of like what they what they can kind of look like. The classical fighter. Go as a paladin, which uh, 
I think that's also another. Paladin was also like the uh, class of my first character as well, so I had a half orc paladin, which was definitely an interesting experience. Is it heads or tails? <laughs> You know what, let's go with something nice and simple. So maybe between a barbarian, a fighter, or a monk. Uh, I think let's go with... To go key, but hmm. yeah, you know what? Let's just go ahead and make ourselves a living brick shit house. So, good old classic barbarian. So let's see. What do we want? To I kind of like the thought of going uh, an Outlander Barbarian, that could be... I mean that certainly kind of like plays in on itself, I think. Yeah, I kind of like that. So... Okay, there we go, so... We can basically choose what we want to put our points into, and this is just simply what they would re recommend then. Intelligence, the classic dump stat. <laughs> uh, so we have 27 ability points. Well, I think considering that we are going to be a uh, barbarian, I think it makes sense that we have probably above average between strength, dex, and con. So, question is, do I want to go more into con or put it into strength? I kind of like the thought of putting the plus two into constitution with the plus one going into strength. Uh, so 17 points left. I mean, since we are probably going to be the main character, going into Charisma might not hurt us at all. But I think first, let's just go ahead and put points into Strength and Con. Oh, okay, so it looks like we can only go to a plus 17 for... Which, I mean, I guess is... Oh, okay, so... Hold on, so if we take... So we can only really put 7 points into a trait. Interesting. Uh... Go ahead and get at least plus one in. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get plus one and two uh, dexterity because technically with our wage, it's still counting. I'm pretty sure we're. I'm pretty sure with the unarmored defense. Yeah, you add your constitution modifier to your armor class, so. This way, we can, I believe with this, we should be getting plus four to our armor class, so that's not terrible. Oh, 
Let's go ahead and start editing, editing the appearance. So, yep, that's. So, body type 2, identity. It's opened. More of those wretched things. There's Where to next? <laughs> Let's hope the locals are friendly. Kind of want a more weapish voice. <laughs> Be wary. This place is trapped. It's open. More of the. Where? Hmm. What was that? Uh, looks like we're probably not going to get our customary Scottish dwarf, which I feel like when, when it comes to like most dwarfs, it's just like they always get depicted with the Scottish accent, and it's just like I, for some reason, I love let's that. The locals are friendly. So let's go ahead and kind of like voice five. Hells, something just woke up down here. Be wary, this place is trapped. It's opened. I uh, wonder what's back there. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. Where to next? Hmm. What was that? Maybe this voice. I. Let's hope the locals are friendly. I guess it's all right. Uh. I see. Sometimes it can be hard to tell, like which one I want to go with. Ah, oh, this looks good. No idea what skin color would be good. Eh, sure. Scarry. Jeez, that one looks like a bloody burn scar right there. What does it mean by oh by maturity as in like being close by So let's see. I think let's go with the ice car will be good. A few freckles, a few wrinkles. Uh whoa! What in the world? Metallico. I have no idea what that is, but, uh... Uh... Excuse me one second, there's going to be a quick moment of maturity warning, so I'm just going to pause here for a moment. Alright. After probably looking at a penis for way too long, I have decided on one, and I hope I never have to do that again. <sighs> the things I do for customization. So let's see, cuz... So now we can go ahead and tattoo ourselves, I... I mean, it could definitely be cool to have something like that, I mean. I don't... I think I really want anything like to. Ah, I mean, something like this might be nice. But at the same time, the Dread Fog actually kind of seems okay too, but I think let's go with the Syndicate one. Actually. Eh, nah, not this row, so... Go with that. Wow, that's a lot of... Oh, yep, I see the Minotaur. That's not going to... Let's not do any piercings. I feel like if I have to actually choose like a piercing, it's going to take me like forever, and it's already going, to, and it's already feel like I'm taking a while just simply to do this customization. But in all fairness, I do feel like customization paralysis should be a thing when people are doing stuff so because it just shows like how invested you are into this person that you are creating. Like that's what I feel like. I like this green. 
Uh, no makeup. Alright. Oh god, look at all those hair, hair choices. Okay. Um. Alright, let's get like a bit of a side, front and side view here. Uh, we're probably gonna have to probably spin it around anyways. Mm. I think like a dwarf's hairstyle. I kind of think of like a... Uh, what do I think of like dwarf hairstyle? Like, I kind of think of something like short, probably something like that's kept like close to the head or something. Not like that. Uh, that looks a bit better, but I like the fact that this little hair swirl is kind of like covering up our tattoo. Ooh, this isn't too bad. Granted, it's a bit long for my for the purpose I want, but cornrows, nice. Uh, no. Definitely not. Mm, uh, okay, you know what? That that does kind of give me a bit, pretty nice vibe, but, it, but it's covering the tattoo, and it's just like, I have the tattoo. I kind of want to have it visible at the same time. Hello there, forehead. Ooh. Okay, now that's... That's kind of actually... I kind of like that. Uh, let's just... Is there a way to, like... Okay, so it's called the Foxtail. I'll try and remember that. Uh... Uh... Nah. Just... I feel like I'm just kind of jumping between things and just, like... So man, why is there so many choices? Okay, oh, yeah, that's the one that we were default on. Okay, you know what? Let's just go with the foxtail look. I kind of like the look of that, so let's do this. Uh, I kind of actually like the. Kind of like the, kind of gives that salt and pepperish look. That uh, it's not really, it's more like pe more pepper than salt. But I kind of, I kind of like the what it has for us. And finally, no dwarf is without his trusty beard. The question is, which beard should we go for? Uh, I'm actually kind of a bit disappointed about the subdued, how subdued some of these beards are. Like, come on. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we have the dishes. We have the rambling obs, rambling obscenity, which honestly feels like just something. Johnny's feet. Yep. It feels like what I just simply end up doing it whenever I have to record. Just simply rambling obscenity. Uh, pointed me to you know what now nah, wabbling up seen a TI <laughs> that let's be honest Okay, I think we are good to go so enter character name. Oh What do we call ourselves? Hmm. <sighs> I mean I usually go with like a combination of abyss, but it's just like at the same time I don't because of the fact that since we are finally actually doing a kind of D&D-ish stuff, it's just like, it doesn't really matter. It's not as if we can just, it's not like Persona 4 where it's just like, oh, yep, a best man date list, yep, mm-hmm, yep, uh-huh. Uh, it could just like, actually, he dated us, yeah. Yep, there we go. Who in the 
Why in the world would I want a guardian? Alright, uh... Don't tell me I have to do all that again. Alright, um... I don't even know, like, what's the point of the Guardian sense. It's just like... Uh, I'm sure that the Guardian will probably have, like, some kind of use later in the game, but it's just like... How am I supposed to know, like, what's the point of the Guardian? Meh. Uh, alright. Guess we'll do... I don't know why they just simply default to a drow, I mean, granted, they... It made a very nice default drought, but I mean... Huh... Hmm... I'm kinda tempted to go back and actually make the half walk sense. Because while the half orc we got was like green, I don't exactly mind doing. It was like I think that was like actually you know what, we're going back. Uh, you know what, you know what, I'm just going to pause this part and hopefully once we get ourselves assigned and stuff, I can actually be a bit more confident in myself. So I'll see you all in the hot bit. Oh, IT. So, after debating about it for a while longer, I decided to go back off the dwarf and enter the half orcs. Took me a while to get what I wanted, and I'm kind of disappointed that I'm only stuck on body type 2 instead of being able to be bigger and muscular, but eh, here we are. So, let's just go ahead and get on into it. I decided to. Thank you. I think if we'll just simply do our... Uh, if we're going to have a guardian, might as well do the uh, female half-orc. I, honestly, I don't think this is too bad of a half-orc default, if you ask me, so... Here we go! Nope, nope, no cutscene, no cutscene. Even though cutscenes will probably explain a lot to me, I probably would be very... I am not risking it like I did Persona 4. Look at that handsome devil. <clears throat> My head. And I am immediately disappointed that. Uh, why can't it happen like a kind of like gruff, uh, kind of like voice? But I guess you know what? Sometimes you just simply have to make do with what we have. So. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. Yes, I am going to call it there because good lord taking trying to create this character took way too much out of me. So, I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to like button, comment down below, and hit that subscribe button to you guys and girls that make the channel live. And here we, and hopefully we don't roll an F1 too many times. See you all next time.